start please pleasant good morning to everyone in front of you opalishka radio presenting i hope you are all good in this pandemic situation please stay home stay safe let us start our class with a small story it's about wife and husband once upon a time there lived a couple in a village they did not have children for several years they they felt unhappy and expressed that same to the friends and neighbors one of their friend advised them to consult a reputed doctor both the couple met the doctor she is a famous gynecologist she advised them to go for a method both the couple followed the method and blessed with a beautiful baby and they are very very happy with the child can you guess what is that method it is nothing but i v s topic of the day is i v s that means the pros and cons of i v s do you know what is i v s i v s that means the in vitro fertilization in vitro fertilization we are going to discuss definition of in vitro fertilization history of ivf process of ivf why ivf that means the in vitro fertilization uses pros of ivf cons of ivf at the end of the class we will be able to define in vitro fertilization process and we will be able to explain the process of ivf and we will we will be able to understand the pros and cons of in vitro fertilization okay in vitro fertilization do you know what is mean by in vitro fertilization in vitro fertilization the terms in vitro comes from latin words that mean within the glass the terms in vitro comes from latin word within the glass the ivf treatment also called as test tube baby process the ivf treatment also called as test tube baby process okay why is it called as test tube baby process because the in vitro fertilization takes place in test tubes the in vitro fertilization takes place in test tubes petri dishes and beakers so baby born by through this process is called as test tube baby process okay the in vitro fertilization is a process of fertilization where an egg and sperm together combine that means the combine together outside the human body combine the outside combine outside the human body okay do you know who discovered these ideas who discovered this in vitro fertilization the in vitro fertilization was discovered by 
Dr. Robert Edward and Dr. Patrick Stipto in England. In 1970s, the invent of fertilization was discovered. Okay, do you know who is the first test tube baby of the world? The first test tube baby of the world is Louis Brown. Louis Brown is the first test tube baby of the world. Louis Brown was born in 1978, July 25th. Okay, the first test, first test tube baby is Louis Brown. Then, who is the first test tube baby of India? Who is the first test tube baby of our India? The first test tube baby of India is Kanapriya Agarwal. Kanapriya Agarwal is the first test tube baby of India. Born in 1978, October 3rd. Okay, Dr. Arvind awarded Nobel Prize in 2010. Okay, Sir Dr. Arvind got a Nobel Prize in 2010. For why? For why? For medicine. Medicine for the development of in vitro fertilization. Okay. The babies born by through IVF. See. Look at these pictures. As I said, the IVF process is also called as test tube baby process. Okay. Do you know what is the process of IVF? Let us discuss the process of IVF. In vitro fertilization is a part of assisted reproductive technology. Okay. This assisted reproductive technology is used to treat infertility persons, person with infertility problems. Okay, there are five steps are involved in this IVF treatment. Let us discuss about the, I, I, the five steps involved in IVF treatment and uh, embryo transfer. The first step is ovulation induction. Do you know what is mean by ovulation induction? Ovulation induction, that means giving the hormonal injections. Hormonal injections and medicines for the women to develop the eggs in ovaries. And the second step is egg retrieval. Egg retrieval, what is mean by egg retrieval? Do you know? That means collect the eggs from the ovaries. The developed eggs collected from ovaries. And that step is collect the sperm. Collect the sperm and protect. Protect the sperm. Okay. And the fourth step is fertilization process. That means combine the egg and sperm together in laboratories and provide appropriate environment for fertilization process and early embryo growth. As I said, the in vitro fertilization takes place in beakers, test tubes, and petri dishes. Where these test tubes are present in laboratories. That means the in vitro fertilization takes place in 
laboratories okay and the fifth step is the developed the developed embryos are transferred into uterus okay look at this picture the steps are there in these pictures see the ovulation induction and the egg retrieval that means collect the, collecting the eggs from the ovary and the first step is giving the hormonal injections to the patient that, that means the woman and the third step is collecting the sperm and protect and the fourth step is fertilization process and the fifth step is the developed embryos are transferred into uterus okay i think you got it doubt why is ivf used why is in vitro fertilization used women with blocked fallopian tube or damaged fallopian tube can also try for this idea of treatment may factors such as decreasing the sperm motility see look at these pictures can you observe any difference in these both picture this is the normal sperm count and this is the low sperm count men with low sperm count can take this ivf treatment okay hi women with premature ovarian failure and uterine fibroid can also try for this ivf treatment okay do you know women with low ovarian reserve also can for ivf treatment and let us discuss the process pros of in vitro fertilization that means the advantages of ivf IVF the in vitro fertilization treats both male and female infertility problems okay patient having blockage blockage in their fallopian tube blockage in their fallopian tube or low ovarian reserve can also give birth to baby by this IVF treatment. in this ivf treatment the embryos are tested before they are implanted in uterus so less chance for abnormality okay the ivf ivf the in vitro fertilization is help to patients with endometriosis patient with endometriosis can also try for this ivf the ivf treatment also help to the patient with endometriosis in endometriosis the endometrium layer which is present in uterus grow and extend grow and extend outside of the uterus into fallopian tube or ovary Okay, women with premature ovarian failure. Women with premature ovarian failure can try for this IVF treatment because in that condition, ovary does not produce the ovum. Okay, IVF treatment. In IVF treatment. Women with low ovarian reserve can also conceive by 
using donor ovum men with men with low sperm count can also take try for this idea treatment by using the donor sperm okay let us discuss the cons of in vitro fertilization cons of in vitro fertilization that means the disadvantages of in vitro fertilization normally implantation takes place in uterus but in ivf sometimes it does not occur in uterus there is risk of development of twins and triplets which is the which is also increase the risk of complications in delivery and it leads to miscarriages giving the high amount of medicines also a side effect also a disadvantage for the women normally implantation occur in uterus in this ectopic pregnancy in this ectopic pregnancy it occur in fallopian tube so it is also a disadvantage for women with the, with their previous problems in their fallopian tube the a high estrogen levels and other medication also ovulation stimulation increase the risk of risk of premature and low birth weight in babies okay i the ivf ivf is very costly very expensive treat it is difficult to poor people to take this ivf treatment sometimes ivf treatment may not be successful in one cycle okay genetic defects in ova and fertilizing sperm also cause abnormality in embryos supplying of less amount of nutrients and hormones also affect on embryos there will be risk of infections during during the embryos are transferred into uterus in this ivf in this ivf treatment giving high amount of anesthesia is also risk also it cause many health problems to the person sometimes it leads to hemorrhages okay i conclude ivf that means the in vitro fertilization is the most common method to treat method to treat infertility problems okay the ivf success rate or depend on different factors like maternal age ovarian reserve and the lifestyle factors such as stress food habits and obesity etc although ivf is boon for infertile couple to get a biological children but in my way adoption is also a best best way to give a golden opportunity to a, a orphan child to share a parental love and affection Today my topic is done
thank you teju so we have some questions for you and so i would like to ask you that uh, how long does this ivf uh, process take 4 to 6 weeks prior to egg retrieval i to for 4 to 4 to 8 days after the egg retrieval to transfer okay thank you and also are there any restrictions while uh, undergoing ivf yes madam uh, there are some some risk uh, some prescriptions are there like smoking drinking medications and herbal supplement and the Vigorous exercises. Okay, as you said in the disadvantages of IVF that it is very expensive. Do you think um, because of the uh, technology that we have right now, uh, do you think will IVF become more affordable? Yes, madam. In our in future, the government. Decide of the insurance or insurance coverage. Okay, so uh, so you mean like they offer the offer the insurance plans to the patients? Okay, 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 yes, and uh, also so. What are the other procedures that can be combined with the IVF? The other procedures are this gift and ICSI. That means the abbreviations of that is this. That means the zygote intra fallopian transfer and gamete intra fallopian transfer and intra cytoplasmic cum injection and. the frozen embryo transfer okay thank you teju we are done okay thank you madam i thank our blood secretary sir dr r s pravin kumar sir for giving me this golden opportunity and i thank our rcr madam for their motivation and giving me this opportunity and my heart felt thank to our principal madam for the support and giving me this great opportunity and i thank my mentor teacher sunita madam for guiding me and encouraging me i thank usha rani madam swapna madam rajeshri madam i sandhya rani madam for the constant support and motivation finally i thank audience for listening me patiently i thank one and all for giving me this great opportunity stay home stay safe stay home stay safe Thank you.